The Ship of Dreams by Gareth Russell, The Sinking of the Titanic, and The End of the Edwardian Era. So you get some photos included and some primary text. So like any other kind of like um, history book, um, those are two common um, things that you would see. Um, it's a, an introduction to like a number of people and like the lead up to the departure and um, events leading up and the time of like completion of the Titanic. You get like a description like the ma um, mattresses, tea time, first and second class, decks, rooms, um, so on. Um, the culture and society at the time of Titanic spilled. So um, it's not Titanic ship specific. You also get a little bit of what was going on at that time. Uh, you, like in a bit of like the history that's there. Um, to me at times it was a bit jumpy, but um, but does do like a before as it sets sail and as like it sunk and like the days, months, and sometimes years following the sinking of like the people, like the family or those who did survive. Um, so you got 21 chapters. Um, the focus of the stereotype is six first class passengers and their families, a British aristocrat, a patri patriarch maritime architect, an American polocrat, and a son of first generation American philanthropist and one of the first movie stars. By examining its stories through the experience of these six first class passengers, it is not only possible to explore the ways in which the upper classes were changing by 1912, but also to reflect how the isolation created by privilege left many of them unaware or indifferent to the coming danger until it was too late. So there is that slight focus. So again, you're not looking at like the second or third class um, people. Um, he states that he's looking at six first class people. <coughs> um, there's mentions of different works. Um, so you do get quite a bit of information and the version that I got the photos were really small. Um, maybe in the um, physical version, the images are bigger. Um, but it does have some interesting points and information that um, can be used by those who do have an interest in the Titanic and want to further their research, not just about the ship, but um, the people and life. Um, at that time, but yeah, uh, the ship of dreams, happy readings.